Hey guys, it's Kelsey Merritt and I wanted to show you my everyday makeup routine. So I would start my makeup by mixing uh, my moisturizer and sunscreen. So like I just mix it. And this is to prep my skin. Skincare is so important for your makeup routine. I'm breaking out, that's totally normal, but that's what makeup is for. I put sunscreen on because it's just important to for your skin, like to protect your skin from the UV rays. Um, there's like UV rays in everywhere, just like even if you're indoors, there you still get UV rays. I moisturize depending on how my skin feels. Right now, like I just use like a soft cream because um, I'm not that dehydrated. So just listen to your skin and see what needs. And then I put um, coconut oil around my skin. It smells amazing. I love coconuts. I love coconut water, coconuts itself. <laughs> love putting it around my body. So usually the night before, if you have like an aloe plant, you can just um, cut off a piece and then I'll show you how to extract the aloe. It's really great for your scalp and if you have dry hair. And this is my little aloe plant. Um, it's a little cute one. You can just get like a piece. You can extract the gel. I would use the gel and I would like mix it in my hand and rub it all over my scalp and in my the dry parts of my hair. So I usually have really really dry and chapped lips and the trick that I do is I put water and damp the towel and I put it over my lips. I kind of use it to like get the dry stuff out of my lips and when I feel like it's really my lips are really damp and just like plump I put lip balm I really love this one I've gone through so many different kinds of lip balms and this is my favorite because it smells amazing and it gives you like a little gloss it looks like you have lip gloss on which I love now my skin is prepped and I can start with makeup I love looking bronze and you know sun-kissed so I usually use a shade darker than my skin tone and I blend it out. Just a little is fine. And you can use your hands. I feel like that's the easiest way to put foundation on. And I don't like hiding my freckles because they're my favorite part of my face. This is um, sort of similar to the makeup I did on myself for the Victoria's Secret Fashion Show casting. I couldn't put too much makeup, but I wanted to look my best and I feel like with makeup it's supposed to like bring out the, your best qualities like it's not supposed to cover anything so when foundation's done people usually put powder over it but I like to keep it like to look like skin and usually when I put powder it looks cakey on me so I'll keep it like this I love to contour my my face like it looks bad now but if I blend it out it should look fine with this particular product, I guess it's just harder to blend it out with my hands. Using it with a brush was much better. I just think like having a little color on your skin makes you look healthier. And then we put concealer on. So see how I have like a pimple there, a pimple here, and some there. We can always cover them. And they're gone. I booked the Victoria's Secret Fashion Show and I'm the first Filipino model to ever walk the runway. It means a lot to me and the people back home because they love Victoria's Secret so much and they've always been wanting a Filipino model to walk the show and I feel like this is not just like success for me, it's like also a success for them. It's always good to put concealer under your eyes like, and I love this product from Glossier because the finish is really sheer. I like it to look like I don't have anything on, which is always the goal for my everyday look. Like I can't cover my pimple. <laughs> if you feel like you have a pimple that just like light coverage won't do, then bring out your heavy duty ones. <laughs> and hopefully it comes off. Now it just looks like a freckle. 
Okay, so first I put all the um, liquid and cream stuff before I put the powder stuff. So now I put the blush. I love this one from Tarte. You can smile so you can see your cheeks and see where you should put the blush. Put a little on my nose. So I was really bad at doing um, eye makeup and so I asked one of the makeup artists I was working with like what's the best way to put eyeshadow on and he was like the simplest way you can do it is to start in the middle and then work your way up and then go up and I love using everything like brown like brown tones because I like to keep like that tanned and bronze look after you do that you take this brush and you take a little and you just spread it all over. But you can see the difference, like, it just makes your eyes pop more. And I get the smaller brush and I put a little under my eye. It's just one shade. I don't really mix eyeshadows because I'm not the best at it, but I mean, it works for me. <laughs> so after that, I move on to the powder. I use this bronzer and highlighter and I just add it here. Oh, I put a little, what do you call the sides of my nose? Up here. Don't forget the highlighter. Just a little. So I'm in a makeup chair a lot and I love observing um, what makeup artists put on my face. So a lot of the things that I'm doing I learn just through watching them. And so like they usually put some on my lips, on my nose, some put here. So I think my face is done and I, I'll go back to eyes. I don't put much in my eyebrows because I already have really thick eyebrows. What I only do is I brush them up with a brow gel because I feel like my brows look better when they're brushed up and I've been told by a lot of makeup artists that this is an Asian gene where my where my eyebrows just go down, so they always bring it up. I curl my eyelashes every single day. This I get scared doing this because I I've clipped myself a couple of times. I always do my makeup on the go because, like, if I'm in a hurry for a casting, putting mascara in a moving car, <laughs> that's that's a skill because it's so hard to do. Makeup artists always tell me to apply mascara this way, like wiggle at the bottom and then drag it up. I don't really know why, but <laughs> maybe to like get the bottom more or like, but that's what I do. This is my favorite product ever. I feel like it just sets the makeup and it makes you, it gives you a glow. I don't know, I feel like this just makes my skin look hydrated and it looks like skin. I usually, um, during the day, I tie my hair in a bun, so like this. So I keep it like that the whole day, and then when I let it out, it's just already curled. This lipstick is from Charlotte Tilbury, and it's, again, like I love everything natural and nude. So this is, this just looks like your own lips. So if you're going out and you want to build on your makeup, you can easily do that because you already have a nice base and I feel like putting glitter just makes it like a night look. So this is my final look. I hope you guys enjoyed. Bye!